Hey guys, welcome back to another video. That's right guys, it is the third day in a row with two videos. On Tuesday, I did my Black Friday haul and the unboxing of the 124 scale green grave digger. Yesterday was me showing you guys the new 2017 Hot Wheels Monster Jam release, the Blackout Ultra Loco, and plus the Mud Treads Lucas Oil Crusader unboxing. Today is NFL Week 12 recap and NFL Week 13 predictions. So yeah, let's jump right into the predictions. By the way, coming into this week, besides the two ties, I am 108 and 67. So yeah, guys, um, let's just jump right into my picks. So starting with the game tonight, on Thursday night we have the 10 and 1 Cowboys at the 6 and 5 Vikings. Um, the Vikings actually started off the season uh, 5 and 0. And now in their last six games, they're one and five. Their only win was a three-point win over the Cardinals. They're at home on Thursday night football against the best team in the league. I do think it'll be a good game. I really do. But I think the Cowboys will pull it out. They just have ten straight wins. I mean, they did only beat the Redskins by five. But I think it's going to be a very competitive game. But I'm going to pick the Cowboys over the Vikings. All right, now we move on to these Sunday games. The 8-3 and three Chiefs coming off that huge win against the Broncos against the 7-4 Falcons. I'm going to pick the Falcons, actually, at home against the Chiefs. Yeah, the Chiefs coming off that big overtime win against the Broncos, but I just think the Falcons are going to pull it out. I think this will be a very close game, just like the Cowboys and Vikings, but I do think the Falcons, in the end, will pull it out Um. The Chiefs right now in the second wild card spot. The two wild card spots is by the eight and three Chiefs and the seven and four Dolphins. Right outside we have the seven and four Broncos, and then on um, the six and five Steelers and the six and five Bills all outside. Also the six and six Titans, five and six Chargers, five and six Colts all right there in the wild card. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna pick the Falcons over the Chiefs, and I do think the Buccaneers will also win. So the Buccaneers will get within one game of the Falcons entering the week and leaving the week. So yeah, then we have a very important game, the seven and four Dolphins at the six and five Ravens, both coming off close wins against bad teams. Um, the Dolphins was against the 49ers, and the Ravens was against the Bengals. Both of them were too close. Um, but I'm going to pick the... Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to have to go with the Dolphins on the road to beat the Ravens in Baltimore. Um, I just don't see the Ravens winning this game. Honestly, I don't really think the Ravens are that good of a team. Yes, they're 6-5 and five and leading the division, but they're tied with the Steelers. They did win the head-to-head -head ma matchup, but only 20-14. to 14. But, I don't know why he keeps doing that. But, um, I am picking the Dolphins on the road over Baltimore. Next up, the 1-10 49ers at the 2-9 Bears. Gonna pick the Bears, actually, at home against the 49ers. Um, there's only been two teams so far eliminated from playoff contention. Those two teams being the 49ers and the Browns, excuse me. Um, if the Bears lose this weekend... Then they'll be eliminated. Same goes for the Jacksonville Jaguars, who play the Denver Broncos at home. Well, the Jaguars are home. But um, anyways, on the road, I don't think the 49ers are going to be able to pull it off all the way in Chicago. I'm going to go with the Bears. Um, A lot of their losses have been very close. Just like last week, they only lost by 6 to the 6-6 six and six Tennessee Titans. So I'm picking the Bears at home over the 49ers. Next up, we have the 5-6 and six Eagles at the 3-7-1 and one Bengals. This one isn't even really that hard for me to pick. The Bengals are just not that good of a team. Gonna pick the Eagles on the road. Um, Yeah, I'd, I mean, the Eagles coming off that tough loss on Monday night against the Packers, 27-13. to But I do think that they will bounce back, knowing what they need to do to get into the playoffs, basically win out and get some help. So I'm picking the Eagles over the Bengals. Um, we still have, like, a few more games left for the 1 o'clock games Eastern Time for Sunday. Um, the next one, though, is the 6-5 and five Texans at the 5-6 and six Packers. The Texans aren't going to be able to beat the Packers in Lambeau, I don't think. I'm going with the Packers at home. I think they're coming back. If they win, um, and the Lions lose, if the Packers win and the Lions lose, the Packers will be within one game, um, of the playoffs, or out of the playoffs if the Saints can beat the Lions. So the Packers know what they need to do, just like a bunch of other teams. The Texans, meanwhile, on the other hand, are in a huge battle with the Titans and the Colts for that division. But I am picking the Packers at home over the Houston Texans. 
So next up, we have the 7-4 Broncos at the 2-9 and nine Jaguars. Yeah, the Jaguars are at home, but I think the Broncos are going to bounce off from that loss and come back and get the win over the Jaguars and eliminate the Jaguars from playoff contention. Up next, we have the 4-7 and seven Rams at the 9-2 and two Patriots. And by the way, this is just coming in if we go to stories really quick. NFL need to know Gronkowski to undergo surgery on herniated disc. Obviously, he won't be playing against Los Angeles. So, will that have an effect on them? I don't think so, though, because the Rams' offense isn't very good, and they're going up against the Patriots' defense. So, I'm picking the Patriots at home over the L.A. Rams. Uh, then we have the 7-4 and four Lions at the 5-6 and six Saints. The Saints are two games back out of the division behind the Falcons, and the Saints... They need to win this game. The Lions lead the division one game over the Vikings and two over the Packers. But I'm picking these Saints at home against the Lions. Um, yeah, so now the only 405 game is my favorite team, the Bills, six and five at the nine and two um Oakland Raiders. Um The Bills need to win this. As a Bills fan, I I'm going to have to pick against them this week. They're not going to get it done in Oakland. They're going to lose this game and need to win out to beat the Steelers, Browns, Dolphins, and Jets. Those are their final four games. They play the Raiders and Steelers, the hardest of the two, then the Browns, Dolphins, and Jets. Well, actually, I don't know. The Dolphins and Steelers are probably about the same. But um, anyways, I'm picking the Raiders at home over the Bills. So, yeah, that's the only game at 4.05 on Sunday. These are all Eastern time, by the way. And then we have three at 425. So the first one is the four, or no, not four. I mean six, four, and one. Yeah, six, four, and one Redskins at the four, six, and one Arizona Cardinals. Um, I can't go with the Cardinals at home. They have just not been looking good this season. Like, and the Vikings last five, no, the last six games are one and five. They're only win being against the Cardinals. The Cardinals are just not that good this season. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to have to pick the Redskins over the Cardinals. I just don't see the Cardinals getting it done. Even though they're home, I just don't see it happening. So I'm picking the Redskins in Arizona. All right, now we have the 8-3 and three Giants at the 6-5 and five Steelers. This is a huge game. Huge, huge game. Um, But I'm going to pick the Giants on the road. To beat the Steelers, that's my upset of the week. The Giants to beat the Steelers. Um, yeah, that's my upset of the week. The Giants to beat the Steelers, even though the Giants are two games ahead of them. The Steelers looking really good um, off that win against Indianapolis in Indianapolis. So I'm picking the Giants over the Steelers in Pittsburgh. And the final 425 game on Sunday, we have the 6-5 and five Buccaneers, 5-6 and six Chargers. Both trying to squeeze into the playoffs with a late season surge here, but um, the Chargers, all six of their losses have been by eight points or less, so one score for all of them. Um, the Buccaneers, on the other hand, are one game out of the division behind the Falcons, and they're one game ahead of the Saints, two ahead of the Carolina Panthers. This is a really tough game for me to pick. Some of you may disagree, but I'm going with the Chargers at home. Like I said, even though the Chargers have a losing record, all their losses have been 8 points or less. So, I gotta go with the Chargers at home. I don't think that will choke this time. I'm gonna go with the Chargers over the Buccaneers. Um, then we have the Sunday night game. The 4-7 and seven Carolina Panthers at the 7-3-1 and one Seahawks. Um, this isn't even a tough game for me to pick. Easily, um, the... Um, easily picking, sorry, I was just reading a message that I got, but easily picking the Panthers over the Seahawks, um, there's no doubt about it, the Seahawks is, they're not a good team, yeah, okay, they're 7-3-1, they should be 7-4, and four, honestly, the Cardinals deserve to win that game, so, but you could also look at them as 8-3 and three if you think they deserve to win it, but I think the Cardinals deserve to win that game against the Seahawks, but I'm picking the Panthers, I, that's not even a tough game for me to pick, honestly, the Panthers have been on a roll, they almost upset the 9-2 and two Oakland Raiders at home, just came short though. But anyways, guys, moving on, we have the Monday night game. The five and six Colts at the three and eight Jets. I think this weekend is gonna get even more bad for the Colts. I think they're gonna lose to the Jets in New Jersey. I think the Jets will pull it off over the Colts on Monday night. Um that's another uh another what do you call it? Um why can't I think of it? 
I don't know, but another uh, surprise pick. So, um, yeah, let's go over my picks one more time. So, yeah, let's go over my picks one more time. We have the Raiders over the Bills, the Cowboys over the Vikings, the Falcons over the Chiefs, the Ravens over the Dolphins, the Bears over the 49ers, the Eagles over the Bengals, the Packers over the Texans, the Broncos over the Jags, Patriots over Rams, Saints over Lions, um, Cardinals over Redskins, Giants over Steelers, Chargers over Buccaneers, Panthers over Seahawks, and Jets over the Colts. So thank you guys for watching. In the comments below, tell me your thoughts on my predictions. Again, three days in a row with two videos. Let's see if tomorrow we can keep it going with four days in a row. I'm not sure what I have planned yet, but I'll think of something. So thank you guys for watching. Again, in the comments below, tell me your thoughts on my predictions. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.